Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Podcast 9.3 and we're going to be taking a look today at DNA replication. And Now this is kind of the meat of the chapter, so it's going to get a little bit uh, more complicated than we're used to, but it's okay, we're going to make it through it. So you can read this paragraph on your own, but essentially what we're doing is this is what the cell goes through to prepare for mitosis and meiosis. Um, and there's two important enzymes that we need to take a look at when we're describing replication. And the first one is called helicase. So we remember from podcast 9.2 that DNA is a twisted ladder and we need something to unzip it or to untwist it. And that's the job of the helicase. The second one is called DNA polymerase, P-O-L-Y-M-E-R-A-S-E, -E, or polymerase. And this creates a new strand from the template. Uh, so what's happening is these two enzymes are working together along with a bunch of other ones. These are just two of the big ones uh, to create a new DNA copy. And now before we even start this, there's one thing that we need to make sure gets into your paper. If you don't write anything else down, please write this down. It says replication always occurs starting at the three prime end and ending at the five prime end. And this will make more sense in just a minute, but replication always happens in the same direction. It starts at the three prime and finishes at the five prime. And that is a super, super important piece of information. So please get that written down. Okay, so on your paper, you should uh, either have this on the note page that I gave you or sketch it for yourself. But you've got two parallel lines on the left opening up to a fork. And you need to be able to write on the inside of this, so make it big. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to label our DNA. And we're going to make this end up here, this top right portion, the 3 prime, and that means the other end of this will be 5 prime. So we'll be replicating from right to left on the top half. On the bottom, because DNA is anti-parallel, it has the opposite direction. So this one is going to be 3 prime on the left, and the 5 prime will be down at the bottom. So this bottom strand will be replicating from the left to the right. So let's take a look at this top strand first. Uh, before anything can happen, the helicase has to come in, and what it does is it attaches at a point in the DNA. So take a little loop and draw it on here. And the helicase, or heli, is moving to the left. So as it goes, the DNA is opening up behind it just like a zipper. So the helicase, its only job is to open up the DNA, and it just chugs along and takes the DNA apart. It splits the bond in the middle, and it pops open. Then, once that's done, it's time for the polymerase to come in. So we're going to switch to blue, and we're going to use a blue box for polymerase. Now, a minute ago, I said replication always occurs starting at the 3' prime end and ending at the 5' prime end. So this polymerase is going to come in, and it's going to see a 3' prime end here on the DNA. And it hops on, and it starts moving down the strand. And so what we have is you have an enzyme. Okay, this is polymerase, or poly and it is moving to the left, all right, or down the strand following helicase, and behind it is new DNA. So this blue line, this is new DNA. It is a copy, or it is the, the, um, the partner strand to the, to the template. And remember, this is anti-parallel. So this DNA is being put down five prime, and then this is a three prime end over here. And again, it's going from top right to the bottom left. Okay, that's pretty simple. The bottom strand is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Because the DNA has to find a three prime end to start, it needs to start over here, right? But this isn't opened up. And so what it does is it finds the first open place. And so on this strand, even though we're you know, still on the same piece, this is a three prime end. We can call it three prime over here. So the helicase is gonna be moving away, or I'm sorry, not the helicase, the polymerase is moving away from the helicase. And as the helicase moves, Okay, as this goes to the left, it opens up new DNA behind it. And so what we get is a leapfrog effect. So what will happen is one polymerase will attach. Okay, this is DNA polymerase again. It'll lay down new DNA. Okay, so this one is already gone. It can't go any further, so it stops here. What happens is it will leapfrog back to an empty space. So it'll come back, find a nearest empty space, and it'll start the replication process again. So this is a polymerase and now it's going to start moving to the left. And on the DNA, okay, because they're anti-parallel, this will be a three prime end on the new stuff and this is a five prime end here. And what happens is they get spliced together. They get glued together when it's done. And it's really hard to draw. So in class we'll be taking a look at a 
and an animation that shows this process of this leapfrogging process. Uh, one last note, the, the strand that is going with the helicase, this is called the leading strand. Okay, or the leading piece of the DNA. The bottom half, so this leapfrogging half is called the lagging strand. Okay, it's going to take a little bit longer to get done. So please get this diagram copied down into your notes before moving on. Okay, and then this is just your stepwise walking through the process. Okay, the first thing, we have to have the helicase unwinding the DNA. The second thing that happens is that the DNA polymerase attaches at the 3' prime end and it moves towards the 5' prime end. That is extremely important again. DNA polymerase uses the template or the old strand to add new base pairs or adds the partners. Oops, P A I R S. Sorry, my handwriting is terrible today. One side, again, is called the leading strand, and the other side is the lagging strand, and that was the last portion of the diagram. And then gaps get filled in, and then you're done, and you have two new pieces of DNA. So, um, again, take some time to make sure that this diagram is copied into your notes. We'll be taking a look at a video in class that explains it a little bit better.